back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Tyron A. And before we get into this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and um, turn your post notification bell so you know the next time I am posting. Um, if you, for, well, for those of you who don't know, I am a sonography student. I am in my third semester of sonography school. I am a senior. Um, I'm about to start clinic actually next month um, and I'm very, very excited about that and um, my next coming video I will show you guys what I have for clinic and um, all the things that I need to prepare and all the things that I needed to do to prepare for clinic or whatever. So um, this video is just going to be a little rundown of what's been going on and um, just giving you guys a little feedback, a little update or whatever. Um, of where I've been at and how life has been going or whatever but um so as I said I am in the third semester of sonography school um for those who have been here watching me um since I started this channel guys you know guys I've been on this journey and I want to say thank you guys for being on this journey with me um if it wasn't for you I wouldn't be here making this video um but I just want to say thank you guys for who's been there for me, who's sticking it out, and um, I have a new update for y'all. So, um, first, um, I, like I said, I'm in my third semester. Um, I have five classes right now, and they're going pretty well. Um, uh, this is really my, I guess I can say my last semester learning like everything I need to know for sonography school and um, as time goes on and as um, I have like two semesters left yeah after this semester I have two semesters left um, I'll just be in the hospital doing clinic and shadowing and everything like that so that's what's been going on with me um as you guys did know in my previous videos I said that I was working two jobs but I'm no longer doing that I'm, well, I still have my job on the weekend but my other job, um, that was like only a summer job and I had to quit so I'm like, hey, I need more free time, I need to do what I need to do to, you know, succeed and focus on school because school comes first and, um, yeah, so I don't work two jobs anymore, I am just a one job person right now and, um, I'm just doing school but I go to school Mondays, no, actually, yeah, Mondays, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I just have lab online and you know of course due to this virus COVID-19 um, we don't have lectures or tests in class so we still have an online portion that we do so we're um, doing our lectures and our tests and everything our assignments online and we're just going to lab to scan because um, that is our major role scanning and everything else and um, we just been scanning and trying to catch up on everything that we missed over the spring semester because as soon as I started this program, it was like January of this year, and I only had like maybe a month and a half able to being able to scan and actually meet my classmates and have uh, interactions with my teachers, and it was just like wow, I barely had any time um, to really enjoy it and get get a good feel of it. So. We um, were making up the scan time that we missed in abdomen and OB and everything like that. So we're doing all of that. Um, what we scanned so far in abdomen is um, the aorta. We started off with that. We did the liver. We just got done with gallbladder. And um, as we're doing these things in class, we have to do our tech and pressure sheets because in the world of sonography, um, if you're a sonographer out there watching or um, if you're far, far along in your program and you're in the program as well as I am, you will know that you have taken pressure sheets that you have to do um, whatever you find. Um, what, after every exam you do on a person, you have to do a taken pressure sheet and that lets the radiologist know what you found, um, your, your sonographic findings, um, if you found anything abnormal, you jot it down. It's basically the notes you take um, when you do an exam. So that's what we've been doing. We've just been scanning and doing our taken pressure sheets. That's how we've been getting graded on all of our work. And yeah, so we did the gallbladder, um, and um, we should be starting something else pretty soon. I'm not sure just yet, but we they kind of update the the assignments online about every week, so we have to figure out what we're going to be doing for next week. But we did that so far in abdomen in neurosynology class. We did the thyroid. Um, 
we have to do testicle um, also, but you kind of have to complete that by the end of the semester. And we just did breast, so in this upcoming week, we have to finish breast and turn in our take a pressure sheet, and that's how we will be getting graded. We have to jot, uh, jot down the patient history. We have to um, document if there was a normal flow, if there is, you know, anything, anything at all wrong with the breast. We have to jot that down on the take a pressure sheet, and, and this is basically, basically, I guess, um, preparing us for the real, real world, and when we get a job, and we have to do this. So it's good that we're learning this right now, and. Um, I'm excited, but that's what's been going on in school. Um, and uh, we also have our OB lab right now. We're learning um, twin gestations. We're we're learning um, all of the things that can go wrong, the complications of twin pregnancies. And we're in that class. We're kind of going like down, like we're kind of doing it in a way where we're like starting from the twins, like the fetus's head, all the way down to the toes. So all the anomalies that can go home from go wrong from head to toe. So that's what we're doing right now, and um, I'm just excited for the future, guys. I'm excited, and um, like I said, I start clinic next month in October. I already know where I'm going to be placed, and it's right here at the local hospital in my town, um, Gainesville, Florida. And um, yeah, so that's where I'm going to be going to school at. I mean, school at. <laughs> that's where I'm going to be doing clinic at, and um, I'm ready, but. I have just about everything I need. School has been going great. I have all A's right now. Um, my overall GPA in school right now is a 3.7, and I'm very, very proud of myself. I worked so hard to be here, and it's just like being able to give you guys this experience and being able to just express myself and just connect with everybody out there who's watching. Like this means a lot to me, and you know, it's just school has been going good. So. Um, I finally got me a new camera to record some good content for you guys. Um, I got me a, a, a computer and everything, so I should be coming out with more content. I know I, I come I come in and out a lot, but being in ultrasound school is not an easy thing, and I just want you guys to bear with me. Um, as much as you can, just bear with me. Um, it's going to get better. It's just I'm a busy, busy person, and this whole semester was flip-flopped around. It was, Schedule was changed. Um, things have really changed the semester of school, and it was kind of least expected because this virus, and there was no control that I had over this. So I'm just like, man, I just had to like buckle down and just really focus in. Like, um, I do, I have some time to report for you guys, um, but working and trying to stay on top of my studies and trying to just do what I need to do so I can get past this school phase, so I can finish on a great note so I can graduate and just document my whole you know entire career for you guys because I, once I graduate I'm going to be giving y'all all the content I'm going to be you know telling you guys how my first day of work went um where exactly I'll be working like if I'm going to be at a doctor's office or if I'm going to be at a hospital um and I also took traveling into consideration also so I'm just like I'm just ready for this experience and I just want to touch bases with you guys because you know I be missing and I come in and I go out but I'm so sorry for that guys just bear with me I, I'm just gonna get through this and we're gonna get through this together because we're a team here we're a team so um yeah but school's going good and if anybody has any questions out there who if you guys would like to ask me go ahead and comment feel free to comment whatever and I'll answer it right then and there um I'm always on the phone or, or checking comments and everything, so just feel free to comment and do whatever if you have any questions and I can answer them. But um, if you guys want to see a video like dealing with ultrasound school or just a video about me, myself, or just a video about anything, just comment and give me some ideas and I will make a video for you guys because I want to get some more good content out there for you guys. Um, we got to grow. I want to grow. We're going to grow as a family and um, we're going to do this thing. But Guys, I just want to say thank you for everything, guys. Thank you for being on this journey with me. I see all the comments. Everybody's like, oh, I'm so happy for you. Congrats on passing the SPI exam. And I have seen comments on that um, saying how um, they're nervous. you guys are nervous about the exam. And my advice would be just study, do your part, um, pray first and foremost. Pray to the man above. He will lead you, guide you, um, and he's always there. So. 
don't be scared, don't be nervous. I know it's, it's easier to say, um, but I was nervous also. But I just say, do your part, study, study as much as you can before you go and take that test. And um, just go in with a clear mind, positive heart, positive mind. Just go in and do it. And God will lead you and you'll be just fine. But um, I've been studying for other registries. Speaking of that, I've been studying for um, admin because that's my first registry I'm going to take. Um, for maybe like June, July of next year, right before I graduate, I'm going to take the um, at my first registry. Um, my, well, not my first one, but my second one, my actual registry where I become registered as a sonographer. Um, yeah, that's why I'm going. My aim is to take it in. June or July, so I can graduate, get me a job right after, um, and then my next one after that will be fast year. So, and I'm also aiming to do rest. So I have three registries on my list right now. Um, I went into this program thinking I was gonna do OBGYN, and that's all I was gonna do because I'm infatuated with like pregnant women. Like it's just, it's just I don't know. I just had a, like a a fetish. I don't know. I don't want to say it like weirdly, but I had a little fetish for like pregnant women and like, oh, let me feel your belly and da da da. But I got into OB class and was like, well, this is not what I expected. So um, my heart just has been pulling me in like different directions, but I think I've kind of settled, settled with it, even though it was kind of bittersweet. Like, oh man, I wanted to do OB because that's why I really came in the program for but my heart has just been pulling me to like other things and like you just kind of want to be happy where you are you don't want to just do something because it's there and it, it'll get you more money like it's not all about money and i want everybody out there to know that when choosing a choosing a career period it's not all about money and i don't don't go for a career because of money don't don't be like oh yeah see i want to be an rn because they make sixty thousand a year no no don't do that but um yeah guys so that's really like you know the best thing to do just just be in do a career that you truly enjoy that you know is fun to do you enjoy it everything like that don't do it for money but that's my three registries that i'm thinking about um that's on my list right now which is abdomen vascular and um breast breast is very very interesting to me like it's very interesting and um, the way they kind of use mammogram with it and how to you know how to find like lesions and, and, and tumors or whatever um, it is very interesting so that's what I want to do um, abdomen you know you can find any job with that vascular that if for your those of you who don't know what vascular is vascular is basically um, lower extremity DVT like um, blood clots in your legs that can travel up to your lungs, um, upper extremity um, veins like in your arms and um, due to like catheters or IVs, um, things like that. Vascular is very interesting to me too. It's not so difficult and it's not too much. It's like kind of straightforward and to the point but um, it's really how uh, hemodynamics like how blood how blood flows and in um, and veins and and artery stuff like that is, is very interesting and so those are my three on my that's the three on my list right now and um that's my aim so i've been just studying for that and just taking it day by day and also trying to study for my test that i have in my class and just do my best so sorry guys again for just you know i'll come um i'll come record a video for you guys and then i'll you know go miss it but it's just kind of a fluctuation for me you know and um it's ultrasound school like it's almost like nursing school so and everybody know nursing school is no joke you don't have time to do anything none whatsoever um and ultrasound school is just about the same so you got to be focused you have to be into your studies you have to be you know on top of yourself so you can succeed but um i will be giving you guys more content i'm going to be um as as we get closer to clinic time and everything i'm going to be showing you guys what i have for clinic because i'm still gathering things for it i still have to get like a few more uniforms um but i have majority of everything but um i will be showing you guys that in the upcoming videos but 
again if you guys have ideas of what you guys want me to um, put out for you guys or want me to do a video on just let me know in the comment section down below and um, again guys thank you for watching today's video if you haven't already go ahead and hit that like button as I stated don't forget to hit that subscribe to your brother to subscribe your mom your aunt your sister your cousin um, y'all stay safe out there I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video peace